Today we will be talking to you about cycloids. A cycloid is the curve traced by a point on the rim of a circular wheel as it rolls along a straight line without slippage. As a wheel turns clockwise about its axis, we measure its angular velocity omega in radians per second. Every point of the wheel is subject to two motions, the global motion of the object in question, which is the same for all points, and the rotational relative motion due to the turning of the wheel. For the rotational relative motion, the horizontal component of the velocity is simply proportional to the vertical component of the position relative to the axis. The point at the bottom of a rolling wheel is instantaneously stationary. The axle is moving forward at speed v, and at the top of the wheel is moving forward at 2v. It is a common misconception that as the point approaches the bottom of the curve, it will create a small loop similar to a gamma shape. This is false, however because a point on the rim of a circle in circular motion will never move in the negative x direction because of the global motion of the bicycle frame. To illustrate the cycloidal effect, we attached an LED to the outer radius of a bicycle wheel and filmed at night. You can see that the LED follows a radioactive, radioactive frog-esque path while we rode the bicycle past the camera. When looking at the long exposure, you see it even more. For the second trial, we attach the LED closer to the axis of rotation of the bicycle wheel. In the long exposure shot, you see that the path of the light goes into more of a wiggle shape versus the radioactive frog-esque half circles. For the third trial, we decided to attach two LEDs, one closer to the inside of the axis of rotation and one closer to the outside, to show the difference. Here in the long exposure shot, we see the one on the outside of the bicycle wheel showing the half circle shape as mentioned earlier, and the one closer to the inside overlaid. For our fourth trial, we attached one LED to the center of rotation and another on the outside of the wheel. As you can see, the relative motion, the outside circles around the inside and creates one straight line and linear path and one cycloid. To help visualize the paths of the LEDs, we put two of them the same radius away from the center of rotation and 180 degrees apart. You can see in the long exposure that they have the same period However, they are placed one half circumference away from each other. Thanks for watching.